if you identify as a twin flame, or if you ever have, and you're feeling unsatisfied in any area of your life or relationships or your union with your beloved, I have a message that may provide comfort and inspiration and maybe some freedom for people who are suffering. Uh, as we approach Valentine's Day here, it's, it's February 1st, 2023. My name's Andy and uh, when the old Ten of Cups ministries dissolved at the end of 2020 or the beginning of 2021, you know, I got really depressed and realized I just needed to do something else and then got a bunch of different jobs. And I'm starting to turn a corner to where I feel like I'm developing in a lot of good ways and starting to do some things to to bring the old uh, Ten of Cups Ministries resources back to life. I kept getting this song in my head. You know that song that's like, tempted by the fruit of another, right? Ultimately, we learn that the truth is discovered, that there is no other. And I realized a lot of relationship problems come from this basic sort of general belief that stuff that seems like it's outside of ourselves is actually something other than us. So I have three things here to kind of kick off the new Ten of Cups. And if we are thinking that any of these three things are outside of ourselves, then we could be setting ourselves up for something less than our perfect joy and perfect love and perfect bliss. So I'm out here kind of early morning. I don't know if you'd say I had a dark night of the soul last night or what, but uh, I'm feeling ready to share here uh, again. So let's do it. The first thing is the idea of anything, anyone being uh, another, like our twin flame is another person or our soulmate or whatever, our, our partner, a person we're, we want to be with is another person. But beyond that, going deeper and saying like, wow, I am just like driving on the road and I see other cars. And it's like, yeah, those are another type of thing, but it's really still a manifestation from my own divine mind. You know, even just another car on the street and a pedestrian that you drive by or walk past or you're just sitting there and they walk past you. That's still an interaction between you and yourself. Just realizing that that is something that you created with your subconscious is a really difficult thing for a lot of people to understand and it's a lot of sort of backward type of thought for, for most people. But people who are spiritually minded can see it because we, we see certain things that come up like synchronicities or other things that let us know that this really is a divine magical experience that we are constantly creating. So just in general, like thinking anything is outside ourselves, it can be a big distraction. And if it's something negative, we could still leave the situation, but we could acknowledge that it was something that we created, even while we are protecting ourselves from abuse or, you know, someone uh, just not returning our love and any situation that maybe we should potentially get out of, it's still us sort of uh, just creating more space uh, within ourselves. And so it doesn't have to be viewed as negative. It could just be viewed as creating something beautiful and different than what it looked like before. The second thing that I think sometimes we look at as outside of ourselves, uh, so more specific thing here, is our status, like our social status or our relationship status. I used to hear people talk a lot about whether they were in union or in separation, and I think there were sometimes judgments that people felt in their mind toward themselves or maybe toward other people about that. And it doesn't need to be that way. Ultimately, our status can be self-defined. We can be defined as a child of the divine, a beautiful soul, 
worthy of infinite love and infinite blessings and much, much more. And I remember I used to see people, teachers talk about how they were like a power couple with their twin flame. And yeah, absolutely. It's good to be empowered. And at the same time, it's really an inside job. Being empowered has to do with decisions that we make as individuals on a moment to moment basis. It's not really uh, who we are associated with that matters in the biggest picture because even if there's a superficial thing where it's like we're with someone and so we get access to some opportunities ultimately who we are and what frequencies we are resonating at ultimately will always shine through and tell the truth so it's not really something outside ourselves that gives us our status it's really us uh, from within and that spark of divinity that gives everyone and potentially uh, unbounded immense status in the spiritual and uh, in the physical uh, insofar as it goes and you know this world is a world of contrast so we can sometimes feel separate and we can sometimes feel united with source in this world but ultimately that source is always with us that christ light is always with us if we choose to be a witness to it then we can have conscious contact with it and that will give us a feeling of amazing uh, elevated status and lastly safety and security is something that we often look at as outside of ourselves uh, in america you know we see a lot with uh, different violent stuff happening and uh, we it can be very tempting to think of safety and security as outside ourselves but again it comes down to this proper view of who we are as divine beings and divine creators and ultimately that uh, safety and security is sort of thought of as being associated with life and death a lot of the time right or comfort or, or discomfort right like if we don't have the security to live in a, a warm nice place we might be uncomfortable we might feel unsafe might be more likely to be exposed to sicknesses unless we have a certain approach of witnessing our own safety and our own security and you know seeing that that comes from within so whether it's just looking at things in general as outside and not really realizing that it's all a product of our subconscious mind which we program through our conscious impressions or whether it's looking at our status social status or financial status whatever else and our safety and security we have an enormous opportunity to go within and alchemize self-love and turn it into something wonderful. So I'm going to give you a 10 minute sample of an audio activation that we're going to put back on sale at the the new 10 of cups, 10 of cups.com doing this uh, with Sonia's blessing. I wouldn't comment expecting her to see your comments here or anything, but we're trying to put the audios back into good use because we know so many people, thousands of people have purchased them in the past and said they love them. So hope you enjoy and um, enjoy this sample. And if you are interested in more, check out the links around this video to get the full enchilada. Okay, uh, lots of love and peace and blessings in this new year. Namaste. Greetings and infinite blessings. This is Sonia Evans from Ten of Cups Ministries, welcoming you to the Collapsing Codependent temp Templates audio activation. Please do not listen to this audio activation while driving or operating heavy machinery. Also, be sure to find a quiet and comfortable place where you will not be disturbed during the audio activation. We'll begin with grounding, so if you will, please close your eyes. Begin to take deep and conscious belly breaths. 
Allow yourself to relax and expand into this space. Imagining that on every inhale, you're pulling in the energies that will create the template and the foundation of a new life, completely disentangled from karmic and ancestral and family patterns that have held your codependency intact. And in every exhalation, you are releasing the old energies that have been holding this together in your consciousness, in your personal Akasha, and in your energy bodies. Feel into the activation of this healing energy through the power of your breath. Set the intention that you are going to open up the consciousness field of your inner child so that he or she may receive the benefits of this activation and these transmissions. Take a mental scan of your physical body and feel into any places or spaces within your physical vessel where you feel you're holding blocked or stuck energy. And just deeply pull this healing pure life force into those places in your body, exhaling to release and free them, to deepen into relaxation. I'm now going to ask you to place your awareness upon your spine, imagining that there is a tube of light that runs down the length of your spine. We are going to send that tube of light down and out of the body through the root chakra area, taking it through the many layers of your house or apartment building and into the earth, where we are going to move it at the speed of light through the many layers of the earth dirt and rock and deeper until we reach the center of the planet which is a luminous crystalline core of platinum light this is the heart of gaia the divine mother and this is the sophianic essence this consciousness field this living light of the holy mother that is held within the physical body of the earth Take a moment to lodge that tube of light deep within this hub of energetic nutrients and sustenance, feeling yourself anchoring in, grounded and stabilized in your body and in your space and upon the earth now. On your next inhale, we're going to pull that platinum crystalline light up the tube of light, just like a straw. And as it enters into your personal ionosphere, just feel into that energetic nutrients, feel into those energetic nutrients and sustenance, feeding you and nourishing you on all levels of your being. And as you continue to pull this energy up, you're going to pull it up into the heart vortex and then exhaling, you're pushing that platinum light out into your field where it begins to create a pillar of platinum light roughly four feet in diameter in all directions around you. This is your personal sacred container, your personal sacred temple, your healing space in which to do this healing work. Take a moment to be present with this process of pulling in this energetic sustenance, allowing it to Feel you and nourish you and then exhaling, breathing it out into the field, feeling into that divine love and support as it begins to move around you, surrounding you, holding you in sacred embrace. As you build this platinum pillar, I am now connecting with your overlighting angel of healing, who is sort of like the supervisor of all of your healing teams on your healing journey to be present and with you to direct the transmissions to where they need to go in your physical body, in your light body, and in your personal Akasha to collapse out the codependent template completely and fully.
Just feel into the safety of the space. Allow your inner child to feel safe. And I'm now going to start to stream in crystalline amethyst tones. These are just sort of this wondrous purple violet color with all of this crystalline light that's also running through this. We're going to start to run this around your body. You might start to feel this downloading as a warmth or a tingling. And what we're doing here is we're now collapsing out all of the toxic shame and guilt within the pain and emotional bodies that have built up as a result of toxic family dynamics that have created or compounded codependent tendencies within your field. We're just going to run this energy through. I'm going to run it through the solar plexus chakra to start to disconnect, pour out and dismantle any blocked energies there, any overlays or templates within the solar plexus and all ways in which those energies, those circumstances, those templates, those imprints may have compromised your confidence, your courage, your ability to feel that sense of self. We're going to start to collapse out enmeshment with family members that are unhealthy and any courting or imprint that's still within the field or the consciousness that's holding your inner child captive within those matrixes. Okay, we're going to start to run that through the heart chakra as well to start to collapse out any congestion around the heart chakra from not receiving the level of love and support that you may have needed we're also going to start to run this through the throat chakra we're going to start to open up the throat portal and all ways in which you were not able to express your truth express who you really were and express what you truly needed all ways that that was shut down <laughs> just breathe that deep within to the consciousness field of your inner child. You don't need to know exactly where that is. You can just draw it in intending to send it there. Your overlighting angel of healing and your higher self are directing these transmissions. I'm just gonna just run this energy for just a moment. And now I'm going to start to bring some transmissions through the Alta Major chakra center at the base of the skull. This is where the base of the skull meets the top of the neck. We're going to start to run some tones through there. This is going to start to go through the brain to collapse out pathways. And these are places where certain codependent tendencies to fix, to save, to rescue, to receive validation through being needed, and these sort of templates have become hardwired so that they are sort of an automatic knee-jerk response. It's sort of hardwired into your system to be this way and to react this way within your relationships and within your timeline. So we're just going to start to run some tones there to start collapsing those out. And just take a deep breath here. Hushakama hashakiyam. Hushakiyam hashakiyam. You might start to feel some shifting going on in the head, in your skull. Just breathe and feel into the shift. I'm now going to start to pull in some indigo, magenta, and sort of...